Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Fabulous. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hey girl, thanks for coming back to another one of my videos. So, I haven't seen you guys in maybe like two to three weeks. I know I've been gone, I'm so sorry. Um, a lot's been going on, but I wanted to say thank you so much for my last video when I did the Jeffree Star Concealer and Powder um, little review. Like, it did so freaking well, I was so happy, and I loved all the responses on that video, and just thank you guys so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. And hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'm so glad you guys can be a part of this journey. So I just wanted to mention that because I really appreciate it. And just like the title says, we're going to be trying out some new products. I've gotten a couple new things. I also went to Sephora today and picked up Rihanna's new liners, which we'll talk about later on. But I just wanted to come on here and just talk with you guys because... I just feel like we need to get a little bit more personal. You guys can know a little bit more about me. So I want you guys to follow me along on my makeup routine. So if you want to see what's going to go down in this video, keep on watching. Okay, so are we feeling this vibe? Like very tropical, very vacation mode, and just very vibes. Like I'm loving the background, loving the little plants on the side that I went outside and picked it myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so cute. And I'm so ready for summer to be here already. Okay, so one of the first things I picked up, which I wasn't even planning on picking up, but um, you know when you're about to check out a Sephora, they have that whole aisle of all those little small little try out things that you can try. And I saw this, this is from the Glow Recipe. I've just recently heard about this brand. I've seen a few influencers um, use this product. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer for oily to combo skin, hydrating and soothing. I was like, this looks like it's nice. And I seen a few people use it. And I was like, let's just try it out. Let's see what's up. Um, I'm, I'm, lately I've been buying a lot of moisturizers and primers um, and trying different stuff because my skin has been, I don't want to jinx it, knock on, knock on wood, um, but my skin has been pretty great, except for this right here. What the hell is this? We're not gonna talk about it. I think it smells like watermelon, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, is it a pump? No. Wait, is this a, is that a pump, right? So, or am I tripping? Did I open this wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to just... Oh, I'm supposed to just pull it. Okay. But let me smell it first. Oh. Oh my god, that smells so freaking good. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Oh yeah, this feels amazing on my skin. I just washed it right now. And it just feels like very tight and dry. So this on top of that, oh my god, this is heaven. Oh, but I really, really do like that. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that was a moisturizer. I'm actually going to go in with a primer right now. I've really been loving the Milk Hydro um, Grip Primer. Like, I really like this a lot. I've been using it a lot in my IG tutorials. Which, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to follow me there. I am always posting... Um, little Instagram tutorials because sometimes I just don't have time to film a whole video but I can knock out like an Instagram video like so fast but I love this like it's it's got it like when you first put it out it's kind of like hygienic like as like if it's gonna be a moisturizer but then it starts to get sticky and it's just gonna hold that foundation and all your makeup like really well but I like to mainly put it in my t-zone because that's where my makeup breaks the fastest, and then everywhere else I'll kind of just pat it around. So my face right now feels like really good and sticky. Okay, so finally, oh my god. I have been using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Like, like this is my favorite foundation. Like ever since it came out, I've been using this like non-stop. Like I love that foundation. Like it's literally like my holy grail. But I literally haven't tried anything else but that foundation and I finally picked up a new foundation today. I saw someone post about this. It's the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. Which I never really go for a matte foundation, but when I swatched it, it looks so freaking beautiful. And I just know that it's going to look so good on my skin. At least I hope. Those are what I'm thinking. I didn't try it on my face. But um, I got the shade Medium Tan, if anyone's interested in knowing the shade. I love the packaging. It's kind of like cool. Like it's in a little seal box. And don't you just hate when you're about to start your makeup and, and your sponge is not wet? Be right back. And I'm just going to start squeezing this out. I don't know if I need it. Oh, good thing I just decided to shake it. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to try that. So far, 
And let's blend this in. By the way, this is the um, Morphe and Jeffree Star sponge. I recently bought another pack because I really love this one. It's the same as the other one. I just love that it's pink. Oh, yeah. Ba Look at my... So far, I, I already love it. And I don't feel like I need a lot either. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Yes. Okay, Milk Makeup. I see you coming in with a flawless foundation. And it's sitting really, really well on my skin. Yes. Okay, so far, everything is working really well. Which is great. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to be going in with the Jeffree Star concealers. I have C16 and C18 right here. C16 is going to give me like that natural conceal and then C18 is going to give me the brightening effect but I have been using these non-stop like they are my favorites I love the formula so much so I was going to do a Matt Gala video where I you know critique and tell you guys which one were my favorite looks and I filmed it and everything and um I was going to upload it that night and then I looked back at the footage and I literally had lipstick on my teeth and my hairline because I was wearing one of my wigs and my hairline was looking so jacked up I was like how can I be talking about these looks and then you look a mess so I literally deleted all of it because I didn't like it and also when I was watching it I was like I don't know I, I just like I'm, I'm not really a rude type of person to where like I talk mess um so it just felt like just weird. I don't know. I didn't like what I was seeing. So I was like, let me not upload it. But can we talk about Lady Gaga's? Like, so I think she was my number one, like, favorite. Like, I was literally living. I was living for her looks. Like, she did it so well. Like, all the outfit changes on the carpet were amazing. Like, I was like, yes, this is how you roll into the Met Gala. And James Charles literally looked like the biggest idiot on the carpet. I am so dead. I'm literally here editing the video and I was like, I didn't upload my Megala look because I don't like talking mess about people. And then I literally go in and I'm like, James is such an idiot. I can't with myself. But I was like, what are you wearing? Like, you're so lucky to be invited and to, and to go. And that's what you wear. And like, no matter who the designer is, like... It was literally like wearing a Coachella outfit to the... But speaking about James, oh my god, I cannot believe everything that's going on right now between Tati and James. Like, the drama is so crazy. And it's like, new things are always coming out within the beauty industry. Like, let me stop a second so you guys can see this concealer. Look how gorgeous it looks. Everything is looking great. Um, but it's just so crazy, like, how... The beauty industry, not even the industry, it's not even them that we know about so much. It's the influencers who are in it, like, you guys are supposed to be influencing positivity and beauty and just, like, and they're influencing, like, drama. Like, that's, like, the biggest thing, which is crazy. And every time I see drama, I'm like, what's my drama gonna be? <laughs> I'm taking the Pinky Rose Contour Palette, the cream one. I think, I don't know if they have any powder ones, um, but I'm taking this shade right here that clearly has hit pan. But I love this contour shade. And I'm taking it on a Real Techniques. I don't know which one this one is, but it's a big fluffy one. I have been loving putting on my cream bronzer with this kind of brush. Like, just tapping it in and blending it out. Like, I, I don't know. I love it. I used to always paint on the um, contour and then blend it out. But I feel like this is just, like, adding it and blending it at the same time. And I can control, like, how much I want, you know? Like, look how pretty... And I feel like this brush really just buffs out the bronzer really well. We love looking like a bronze goddess over here. Speaking about bronze goddess, I picked up a new bronzer. Um, I picked it. I picked up this bronzer before. But I picked up like a really dark shade and I thought it would work. And when I used it, I was like, oh, I was like, it's actually pretty dark. So I picked up a new one, which is the Fenty bronzer. I'm going to show you guys it right now. Because it's one of the new products I picked up today. Which is the Sunstalker Bronzer. I got it in the shade Bahangal. Oh, look at the packaging. I love it. Everything is going with my background like such vibe. But look how gorgeous this bronzer is. So I'm going to add a little bit of cream blush. Which I've been loving my Natasha Denona Bloom Palette for my blush and highlight lately. 
It's so gorgeous. You get these two cream highlights here at the top, which is a nice warm, almost rose goldy kind of highlight, which matches this down here. And then we also have this very, very saturated, almost red. And I'm gonna take it on my Sedona Lace Brush, which is the FB05 brush right here. I just love that it's just nice and dense and I just like to pop it right there on the cheeks. Which, by the way, I do have a code with them if you guys wanna save some money on their brushes. Their brushes are really, really good. So if you wanna save some money, you can use this code right here to save some money when you check out with them. So this is very, 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 very pigmented. So I like to just go in on the back of my hand and you see that? You do not wanna go in and then go on your face because then that's gonna be a lot. So I just, just go on the back of my hand and shear out the product and apply some to the face right here. Just to bring that warmth. Look at that, it's so cute. And I didn't even need a lot. Mm, mm. We look like a little watermelon. And I'm gonna be going in with the Magic Star Powder. This is in the shade Topaz. And then I go in with the T-Zone area first. This powder is so great, and the scent doesn't really bother me until I put it on my face, and it goes into your nose, and it's like, damn, like it's super strong. But I feel like I can't complain about it because it's just so bomb. So, <coughs> you see, oh my God. I got a lot there. Okay, so now we are gonna wanna go in with some bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. brush. It's the Flawless Face Brush, and it's a really great brush. So I'm just gonna tap in, and I'm just gonna pick up some very lightly, because I wanna build it up first, and then, you know, see how it is. Ooh. Ooh, we're looking warm. Oh yeah, like I just been out in the sun, just by the pool, eating wings. I don't know what it is, but I love eating wings like when I'm on vacation by the pool. Like if wings or chicken tenders is on the menu, I'm ordering that bitch. Like wings or chicken tenders by the pool with french fries and a soda is like the best thing ever. And also because I've been on a fitness journey lately and I really can't be having a lot of that stuff, so. That's why I'm like, I need. Oh, I'm loving everything. Like, yes, I love when everything's going great because then my money has been worth it. But, okay, so next we're gonna move on with the eyes. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I do know I wanna use these new Fancy Beauty Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trio. Got this one right here in Bay K. So gorge. And I also picked up Baywatch right here. I am in love with these. I haven't even tried them out to see if they work, but I just saw the colors and I was like, oh my God, I need those because I'm always looking for the perfect white liner also and the perfect neon ones. So I hope these work out. Okay guys, so I think we finally hit a bump in the road. I was trying to do one eye off camera so I can figure out what I was gonna do so that way when I do the tutorial, I can explain it a lot better. But this is my second look that I've already tried to do um, with the eyeliners. Um, the first one was a complete disaster. Um, I did not like the way it came out. Um, and this one right here, I wanted to have this like space open, but the liner didn't look good, so then I tried filling it in. I wanna bring you guys in and show you guys. So I'm not really liking how patchy it is. And also in the corners where I started, um, it's kind of like cracking there already and then right here. This is actually the second layer I've gone over on top So and it's already still transferring on my finger. So I'm not really like Gagging over it. I'm not really impressed so far. Okay guys. Oh my god I feel like I've been filming this forever. So this is what I come up with I added a little pink liner, but you can barely see what the lashes and I don't really do big liners because it makes my eyes look weird um, but the but this one actually worked really well. It's the pink one. Um, so maybe I'm gonna give the other ones another try. Maybe I'll do the tutorial. But other than that, it turned out good. We got a good liner here. It's not cracking. It still got color, so I'm here for it. So far. So I am gonna do this other eye right over here. So you guys can see how I got this look right here. So I'm using the Nightfall eyeshadow palette from the Makeup Shack. And I'm actually gonna go in with the Makeup Shack brush right here. This is the T33 brush. And I'm just gonna dip into one shade in here, which is the cider shade right here. And I'm just gonna be using that right in my crease. And I'm just softly blending this in. 
nothing crazy. Um, but I did want to talk about because I wanted to mention this in a video. So, a couple weeks ago now, there was a makeup class here in Houston, and it was the um, Rainbow Tour with Mitchell and Stacey Marie, which, if you guys know makeup, they are so huge over in the UK. They are such amazing artists, and they were having a class here. So, my friend Louis, you guys need to follow him. He reached out, and he was like, hey, I'm going to be in Houston. Let's leak up. And it was his birthday, so he, he was like, let's turn for my birthday. And I was like, turning up, yes, I'm so down. So I met him for the first time. He was so cool and the sweetest person ever. He is just like the way he is on his social media. And we've known each other for such a while. And it was finally great just meeting up already. So we met up, we hung out, we went partying. It was so much fun. Um, and then he asked me, he was like, hey, I don't have a model for these two classes for the two days that I'm going to be there. Um, could you be my model? And I was like, uh, yeah, I would love to be your model. So I got to be his model for the class and I'll throw up pictures right here. It was so amazing. Like, I'm so appreciative that he, you know, brought me along for the experience. And it was so cool to meet Mitchell and Stacy. Like, they're the sweetest. The look that Lewis did was sickening. Like, I was so upset. So here's the glam all done. Lewis literally slayed this. So freaking hard, Lewis. I need to show you guys the mastermind behind this masterpiece. Like, Lewis literally slayed this, period. Lewis is fucking hungover like, right now. Like, this is so good. Like, so yeah, freaking man. good. I'm so proud of you. You yes, really killed it today. Bitch. This skin, Facetune. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. Never Don't need her. Can't relate. And I'm excited <laughs> to see what look you create tomorrow. I know. I'm excited. Well, I'm gonna do a blowout, like blown out look. Bitch, oh. with Stacey. Bro, and Stacey Wimberry was like complimenting you, and so was Mitchell. So I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, but good. who created this? You did. <laughs> that was me. That's, That's so amazing. <laughs> like, my first time getting my, my, my makeup done by a pro makeup artist, and it did not let me down. Exactly. You put me I'm onto jacked. a bunch of new products. I know. I'm gonna go shopping. I have to do a little haul. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what we do tomorrow. Bye. This and I learned so much and that's what I love about meeting other artists and you know hanging out with them is that you learn so much different techniques that you don't know and you can never stop learning so it was so cool the second look Louis did slayed it I did a whole wig and outfit honey Louis was like bring a wig bring a bandeau top like we need to slay this and I was like period so the look came out so fabulous. Um, Mitchell loved it. Stacy loved it. They love Lewis' work. And I'm so proud of him because he literally killed it. And he should have been the one teaching the class also because he is so amazing. So I wanted to throw that in there along with the clips because it was just so... It was just such an amazing experience. Oh, I forgot to mention I'm also adding this MAC pigment on my eyes. This is in the shade Melon. So it's just a nice soft gold moment on the eyes so I'm just patting this with a Morphe M224 brush and I'm just putting it on my lid okay so next we're gonna go in with the liner this one's in the shade techno beat the applicator is so good like it gives you such a precise line yes so I'm gonna go back in and dip in again I like to start off with a little bit and build it up and not go too much in at one time. Yes, super cute. I love it. So next we're going to go in with lashes. And these lashes are by Kiss Me Now. These are in the style Cloud 9. So I also have a code with them as well. They have really, really good lashes. And if you go on my Instagram, I'm always wearing tons of different lash styles. Go to their page. They are just like really good. And Cardi B has started wearing them and using their eyeshadows. And I'm like, yes, like I'm so happy for them. And I also have a code, which is Mr. Fabulous. You guys can use that at checkout to save some money. I want to zoom in right here, show you guys a better look at the lashes and also at how fluffy they are. Like these are my type of these are my type of favorite lashes that have a nice curl on them. Okay, so next for the inner corner, I actually use a highlighter, and I actually use a new highlighter, and it's actually a highlighter I didn't think I would actually have in my collection. Where'd it go? It's from Lunar Beauty. This is one of their Moon Prism powders, and I got this one in the shade Venus, which is actually a really gorgeous bronzy kind of highlighter for me. So that's this right here. 
Yes, and I added this right in the little inner corner. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the cheeks. It's actually really good and the formula is pretty bomb. Um, I'm actually impressed with it. I was like, okay, this highlight's popping. So I have nothing right now. The skin is just kind of glowy, but I wanna add like that little highlight right on the cheeks. So I'm gonna go right on, on this side and just pop it in right there. Just give me a nice highlight. Okay, so now we have the highlighter on. Looks super, super cute. Next, we're gonna go in with some setting spray because my face needs it right now. I feel like it's just a little bit powdery, even though it doesn't look like it. And I'm gonna go in with the Dewy Set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have been loving this. I definitely need to pick up a new one soon because it's running low. But I'm just gonna spray this on my face. Oh, yes! Oh, just hopped out of the water, you know, looking like fresh tilapia. <laughs> oh my god, honey, she is ready for a photo shoot, like... So I picked up a new lip liner because my lip liners have just been, like, cute and I need something a little bit different. And I like a darker, warm, nude kind of lip liner. So I picked up Nutmeg from NYX Cosmetics. And I am in love with this one. I think I used to use this one when I worked there and I totally forgot about it. Um, and I think I just fell back in love with it again. So I'm just gonna line my lips. And I definitely overlined them. This is actually from Morphe. And it's in the shade Babe. And it's such a very nice warm nude liquid lip. Oh yeah, so good. And it dries down really quickly like I love it. And it's comfortable like it feels good on my lips. And I can feel it drying down and working well. So... To complete this summer kind of glam look, you definitely need some gloss if you're a gloss kind of girl. And I have been loving the Artist Couture glosses. This is in the shade Climax. It's so freaking beautiful. I've definitely used this a lot. Like, oh, yes. So you could definitely be a Mac girl or a glossy girl. Uh, much better just giving you a little Desi Perkins fantasy you know like oh my god I've been obsessed with this wig like I've been wearing it so much lately like it's just like the perfect like you know it's like summer wig <laughs> I just love the way it looks on me but this is the final look right here for this nice summer type of glam especially using these new products I really enjoyed everything except the liners I mean, the liners came through in the end, but in the beginning, I was so, like, on a high, like, okay, everything's working well, everything looks good, and then the liners started messing up, but they came through to the end, and I'm going to practice with them a little bit more, and once I get them down, I'm going to do a definitely really dope look. I just need to learn how to work with them a little bit better, because I don't know what was going on. With that said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me and the content that I'm producing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss when I upload a new video. I don't know why I was using my regular voice. I need to use my more fishy voice. Like, like if you like the video. Oh my god, that was so bad. Like, if you like the video, hit subscribe. Come on. Okay, this, I've been talking for too long, so that man voice just wants to come through. But enough rambling already. I will see you guys in my next video.